Hello, Purposeful People, and welcome to Wisdom and Purpose Wednesday. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Just like Monday's video, we're going to continue talking about the ingredients, the things that are that make us up, that's inside us. So if you're ready to jump into this series, please stick around. Purposeful family, thank you all for tuning in. Welcome to part two. If you are new here, hello, my name is Tori and I am the founder of OurGivenPurpose.com, which is a faith-based Christian website. On it, you will find Bible study, free eBooks, devotionals, links to the podcast, merchandise, and photography. Everything that is happening with Our Given Purpose is on the website. If you have not subscribed here to this channel, or to the website, OurGivenPurpose.com, please do so. It is completely free and you will always be in the know with what's happening with this ministry. As God continues to work through me and just with not only with this channel, but with the podcast as well, it will continue to evolve and topics will not be off limits. So we will have a adult discussion and I will warn you if there's something that may be a little sensitive for younger ears but I just want you all to know that this is my journey as a woman of faith and I am sharing it with you in the hopes of connecting with other believers that we can pray for and encourage inspire and motivate one another so if you have not already please drop in the comments let us know what channel you have or if you're on social media and you would like for us to connect with you, please drop in the comments and let us know who you are and what you're doing. Okay, so part two. Monday we talked about basically baking a cake. Well, I had the opportunity to watch, uh, I think it was, I'll link it. I wanna say it was an Epicurious um, Food Network show where three different chefs made macaroni and cheese. And I was like, okay, love my mac and cheese. But each chef, they were labeled as beginner, intermediate, and expert, I think. And what was interesting, the beginner, as far as how she made her mac and cheese, I was like, yeah, that's, mm -hmm, that's, that's what we do. That's the elbows mac and cheese. Yes, you put it in the cast. Yes, okay, got you. The second person who was the intermediate, he put it in a cast iron skillet. Moment. Mm. To the cast iron. And I was already, I didn't know what else he was going to put in there. When he showed his dish choice, hmm. the third, the expert, he used a, a kind of like a Dutch oven, a deeper casserole dish. Again, great choice. But they all made their mac and cheese different. Their approach was different because of where they were in life and what type of cook they were. And I'm sure that each of their macaroni and cheeses tasted just fine. It was just the level and depth of flavor. Oh, yes. Okay. So when it comes to us as humans, we have a we have a flavor. We have something about us that makes us us. We all have it. It's our it. It's our why. It's our passion. It's our love. It's our purpose. And when we develop our flavors, when we develop and we are really walking in our purpose and we already know what our ingredients are, we know we can be a little bit salty with a dash of pepper. We got some cayenne happening here, maybe some Italian seasoning and some oregano. Maybe we have some other flavors that are mellowing us out and we have some turmeric because we want to bring down some situations and say, you know what, this does not have to be so inflammatory. You know, maybe we are the peacemakers or maybe we're the people who come in and it's like, no, we need to get it started. It's a party when I arrive. I am the red hot pepper flakes. Yes. Sprinkle me throughout. Bring it on. We have different personalities. We have different flavors different spices, different things that just make us us. We can be something that people really, really like and gravitate towards, or maybe we're something that's a, an acquired taste. Maybe we're a little bit too bitter. Maybe we're too sweet. Maybe we are just that fiery thing that kind of it hits you in the back. You're like, oh, okay, I need water. No, you can't drink water. Drink milk. No, don't drink anything. 
the point is we all have different layers and how we use those and how we approach people and what we do with our flavors, it matters because what we put in may be what we get out. So we have to consider that when we are talking to our, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to consider what we know our ingredients to be and are we going to be a good combination for that person, for that crowd, for this meeting, for this circumstance. We need to consider if what we know we are made of is going to be a harmonious melody. Now, I'm going to bring up really quickly because I don't know how this is going to taste. And if one of you has had this before, please drop in the comments and let me know. But from that mac and cheese video, the expert put crushed graham crackers um, on top of his mac and cheese. Now, um, yeah, I, I did in my mind have a little bit of an issue with that. I want to say he used bacon as well. But I was kind of the, the bread, the because mm -mm, we had breadcrumbs because our intermediate, intermediate chef used breadcrumbs. So I was like, okay, clearly they have, this is available, but he used graham crackers. I've never heard of that. I haven't had that before. Um, so yeah, but the point is that may have been the best thing ever, or it could have tasted like graham crackers on top of cheese. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I'm willing to, but I haven't tried it. Sometimes we may not be sure how well we will work with someone else until we work with someone else. Because everybody is different. Everyone is made up of different things. They have different spices. They have different flavors. And what we want to do is gravitate towards those who we can work with and balance and it just be a nice yes we can work this together and help someone else so if you have a group of friends and you know that you're the peppery one or she's the salty one or this person's a little bit bitter and but for whatever reason it you all work together it's great that's wonderful that's what we need we need people around us we need to be the people who are giving our authentic selves to each and every situation. We may have to tame back a little bit on the saltiness. We may need to bring back the pepper. We need to maybe lay on a little bit more sugar, bring in some honey. We may need to do that. When we are praying and when we are setting up our day and knowing what we're gonna have to deal with, we can know when to turn it off and when to turn it on. That in any given situation, it may call us to do something different. What are you getting out of your situations? What are you getting out of the relationships you're cultivating? What are you getting out of your, your job, your career, your hobbies? What are you getting out of it? If it's something that is a passion and you have developed a true love for it, what are you doing to make it grow? What are you adding to it for it to flourish? Thank you all so much for joining me for this Wisdom and Purpose Wednesday. Look forward to part three on Fellowship Friday, where we will, where we will just bring all of this together and talk about our ingredients a little bit further. I hope you all enjoyed this. In the meantime, don't forget to drop in the comments. Let us know who you are, what you're doing, and where we can follow you. And don't forget, you can find Our Given Purpose on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. The podcast is on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Apple iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. I am Tori. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on Friday.